Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of GFC TV. I'm your host, Beth McLean, and today we're going to do an ethnic flavors episode. We're going to make some Asian spring rolls, we're going to make some Thai noodles with shrimp, and a Tex-Mex spaghetti squash that is absolutely delicious. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned. And this one is going to be Asian spring rolls. So we're going to start with these paper thin rice sheets. And you just place them in hot water. They sort of disappear, but they're in there. Just wait about 30 seconds to a minute. It softens right up. Take it out. And for our fillings, we have pre-cooked rice vermicelli noodles. So we're just gonna take a little bit of that. These are a little stringy. Put that right in the center. A couple of scallions that are already pre-made. And everything that we've cut up is cut up as a julienne, so very thin and sliced. We're gonna add some carrots, a few cucumbers, a couple of pieces of pre-cooked shrimp, and a little bit of our peanut sauce. Just put that in there. There's no order to these, you just do it. Then, fold up one side, fold up the other side, and then they just fold over. Now these don't have to be perfect. Don't be afraid to make these. They're very simple. There's one, now we're gonna do another one. Again, simple little rice wrapper. Put it in some hot water. It does look like it completely disappears. Wait about 30 seconds. Take it out. Again, we're gonna do some pre-cooked rice noodles. And you can vary your fillings. If some of these aren't things that you normally would like to eat, put in whatever you would like. Three beautiful cellophane noodle rice wrappers. Very simple recipe. And next, we're going to make some Thai noodles with shrimp. Again, really, really simple. So we're going to start off with these cellophane noodles that have been soaked in hot water for about 10 minutes. We're just going to cut them so that they are a little bit easier to cook with. Just cut them into a little bit more bite-sized pieces. Let's take our green onions, scallions. We're going to come over here, we've heated up some peanut oil. You can use any kind of vegetable oil that you'd like. I find peanut oil with Asian food is a great mix. I'm going to add our scallions, let them cook up. Next, we have some frozen baby shrimp that's already been cleaned and it has all the shells off of it, so they've been deveined. This is also some frozen mix of vegetables, so we're going to add both of those. Just put those right in there. we're going to add some soy sauce. Now one of the things about soy sauce is quite a few brands do have gluten in them. So it's very important to read your labels and make sure that you are using a gluten-free soy sauce. It's one of those things that you have to be careful of so that there's no hidden gluten that you weren't aware of. Soy sauce is definitely one of those things you need to watch for. This happens to be a gluten-free soy sauce. Let these cook up a little bit. We're also going to add 
one cup of vegetable broth. And that will really hasten the cook time as these cook up. And the last thing we're going to add are our cellophane noodles. And we're going to let that cook for about five minutes. When we come back, we'll be able to put this all together and finish it up. Welcome back. We're just about ready to finish off our Thai noodles with shrimp. So we're going to add a little bit of lime juice. This is freshly squeezed just to give it a little punch. The last thing that we're going to add is some fabulous sesame oil, which makes everything really glossy and just gives that extra little finish to it at the end. And that's it. We're all done. And you don't need rice with this dish because of the cellophane noodles that are already in there. Scoop some of this out. Mmm, that smells delicious. Such an easy, fast, delicious, and nutritious gluten-free dinner. Now we're going to make a Tex-Mex spaghetti squash. I've taken a spaghetti squash and I've cut it lengthwise in half and I've cooked it for an hour. So we're going to pull that out, bring it over here, ooh, hot. All right, flip this over, you just take a fork, it's really simple to just mush this up once it's been baked. Ooh, that smells so good. This is so healthy for you. Really good antioxidants in here. Lots of vitamin A, some vitamin C, some minerals, and lots of fiber. So this actually is taking the place of any other type of carbohydrate, any type of rice or noodles or anything like that that you might not want to eat. I'm going to take that, dump that right in. Really easy to get out of here once it's hot and cooked. But be careful not to burn your fingers. So these are hot when they come out. Same thing, just sort of scrape it on out of there. Doesn't take long to do this at all. Really simple. This is another great recipe that you can really dress up to your own tastes. You can put a lot of spice a little bit of spice, and do it to your own dietary needs. All right, so we're done with that. Okay, there's our nice spaghetti squash, all scraped out of there. We're going to add our black beans. You can use pinto beans or any type of beans that you like. We're gonna do some Chopped up tomatoes. Now this is a canned tomato product. This is known as Mexican style. It has some spices and some chilies in there. If you'd like regular tomatoes without all that, you can just put in what you'd like. If you'd like it spicier, you can add extra spice. We're adding some Monterey Jack, and then this is some cheddar. You can use pepper jack or whatever type of cheese you really like. This is some chopped up cilantro. The fresher, the better. Really nice. And then we have our basic ground pepper. So I'm gonna put that in there. And this is the same type of thing. Everything just gets mixed up. A little on the messy side, but that's all right. And then we're gonna just dump this into a baking dish. We're gonna just let get all situated here, just like that. Just a little bit of melted cheddar. And then this will bake in the oven for about 25 minutes until it gets hot and bubbly and all the cheese is melted. 
And there you go. It's just that simple. And now there is our delicious Tex-Mex squash. And we're going to put that in the oven and let that bake. When we come back, we'll pull it out and see how delicious it looks with everything melted and fully cooked. Our Tex-Mex spaghetti squash is ready. Let's pull it out and take a look at the finished product. Mmm, fantastic. Look at all that melted cheese deliciousness. It smells so good. This casserole is so healthy for you and so easy to make. Let's pull a little bit out. And look at that. This is another great dish that you can make ahead of time. Great potluck dish. This can be either a side dish or a main dish. Let's take a quick taste. wonderful explosion of flavors between the cheeses, the squash, the baked beans, the tomatoes, and all of our spices. That is absolutely delicious. And very easy, just like that, gluten-free meals. Thanks for watching. See you next time on GFC TV. So here are the dishes that we made today for ethnic flavors. We have our Tex-Mex spaghetti squash. This is an amazingly nutrient-dense dish. It has all our fiber from the beans. We've got lots of protein from the cheeses. And of course, we've got fiber also from the squash. We've got all kinds of vitamins and minerals. This is a wonderful, easy dish to make that you can make ahead. It's a great potluck dish. It's always a favorite. This one is our Thai noodles and shrimp. We used some rice vermicelli noodles. We've got some shrimp and all of our really nutrient dense vegetables in here. So this is also a really easy dish. This took about five minutes. And then our last one that we made are our Asian spring rolls. These are made with the rice wrappers. Again, very nutritious. We've got our carrots, we've got celery, we've got our noodles in here, some shrimp and our peanut sauce. Again, this one was super simple. That took all of three minutes to make. So hope that you enjoyed visiting with us today and learning about some ethnic dishes that are really easy to make and gluten-free. And we're looking forward to having you join us on our next episode of GFC TV. Thanks for watching.